Hi everyone, welcome back to our tons of tens. As promised, today we are going to be discussing the top 10 things we like to do. Things we like doing. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and comment. Yeah, that's right. Why don't you join the conversation with us? Tell us what your top tens are to the videos that we're doing. We are doing the top 10 things we like doing. Our last video, we did the top 10 things we don't like doing. Make sure to watch that video. And we got a little confused, didn't we? We didn't, we were like, what number are we on? I don't even know if we did 10. I don't know. We kept losing track and it was just hysterical. So Tavin said, we really need to write things down. So we're writing things down this time so that we can keep track of it. It was going to be a surprise every time I put the camera on, but it got a little confusing, but I might try it next time and we'll write them down as we go so we can keep track. Let's get started with our top 10 things that we like doing. We're gonna start with Tavin. So what is the first thing that you put on your list? Video games. I love to play video games because they're fun and challenging. And sometimes in Minecraft you can download if there's, if you have Minecraft Mod Master, Master you can download some parkours. I love doing parkour. I like Rayman. You know what he really likes to play is that monsters. Monster Island. No, the monster music thing. The monster. My singing Sing monsters. My singing monsters, right. That's awesome. Yeah. He Download it now. Download the app store now. That's oh, God. That's <laughs> he has the commercials down. Yes. Download from the app store now. Oh, that's not how it goes. It says, oh. down Download that the episode store for free now. Okay. One of my top 10 things that I like doing is swimming. I absolutely love being in the water. Ever since I was a kid, I pretty much lived in the water from the moment that my father tried to drown me, quite literally. He did. He threw me in the pool when I couldn't swim when I was three years old and I was there's pictures of me flapping and struggling and drowning, quite literally. But my uncle then taught me how to swim. And from that point on, I have been an avid swimmer. And I love being in the water. And um, that leads us to both of our likes. We really like going to Six Flags Water Park. Hurricane Harbor. We are really looking forward to this summer. Last summer was the first year that we got season tickets to Six Flags for Hurricane Harbor in Gurney, Illinois. And our friend Anne always has had season tickets. And the year before that, she took us with our uncle, with Mikey, my brother-in-law, and um, Tavin's uncle, who's no longer with us. Um, she took us to Hurricane Harbor one day and we had such a blast that we decided last year we were going to get season tickets ourselves and just take full advantage of all that it has to offer. We got the, the raft deal, so we, we rented a raft for a year and we got the food pass and we ate like non-stop all day long eating and the popcorn. We, mo we mostly eat... We mostly eat nachos there. Oh yeah, we love the nachos, yum. And so we love Hurricane Harbor. Okay, That's... can we stop talking about six legs? Cause I wanna go even more. I know, I can't Stop, wait. stop talking about it, please. And the worst part is, is like Six Flags is, is gonna open in a few weeks. However, the water park doesn't open until Memorial Day weekend, which- Which is basically my birthday. Which is basically May his- May 25th. We are really looking forward to Memorial Day weekend to where we can go to Hurricane Harbor. We are really excited about that. Ah! I like, I love, I love, 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 love eating. It's my favorite thing. He does love to eat. However, he is a very picky eater. I like onion rings, but I don't like onions. Where's the onion rings? 
tastes like chicken, and I don't like chicken. Yeah. Do you know how hard it is to cook for this kid? Because I love to cook. So that is the next thing on my list is I love cooking. However, and I'm a really good cook. I am a fantastic cook. But it's so hard cooking for this kid because he's so pick picky. And I'm a really good cook. And to watch him eat my food, I want to cry. I don't really cook a lot anymore because he sits and complains the whole time during dinner and I'm just I'm just so tired of it and I don't feel like cooking because I feel like he doesn't appreciate all the work that I do. He doesn't like anything that I cook unless it's spaghetti or cheeseburgers. Okay, we'll get into that and the foods <laughs> that we like in another video. Cooking has been in my family for generations. My great-grandmother and my great-aunt had their own catering company that my mother was a part of and my grandmother was a part of. So cooking and food has been a really huge part of my life. And I've brought that into my family's life. So cooking is a huge deal in our family, but uh, Mr. Picky Pants over here is really hard to cook for. I just can't seem to satisfy him whatsoever. So we have to sometimes buy frozen foods for him to eat during meals that we really love because he won't eat it. That is our number three. I like watching videos while playing video games. You like watching videos? You mean you like watching TV shows? Yeah. Oh, wow. That is so annoying because it's noise on top of noise on top of noise. Yeah, he, he, watch, he plays video games and then he watches TV shows on top of it and then he hums on top of that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's fun for someone who suffers from anxiety and panic attacks. Okay, sorry, we had to move the camera around 600 times. It's a dark day out today, so we're trying to get good lighting from our fake light, and we keep getting shadows everywhere, so the light just keeps shifting on us. All right, so I, I was saying that I love to play bingo and card games on the tablet. One of my favorite games that I like to play right now is Spades Plus and Gin Rummy Plus, and I really enjoy... Solitaire. I don't like that game. And my favorite bingo games are the Monopoly Bingo. I just absolutely love Monopoly Bingo. And as you know, I gave that up for Lent. So, um, I don't know. I'm kind of looking forward to it. I've been collecting my bingo chips this whole time. I have, like... Some days you, some days she hasn't. No. She forgot some days. Mm -hmm. But I have over twelve hundred bingo chips right now on Monopoly Bingo. <laughs> I'm gonna be having so much fun after Easter. Okay. Uh... Okay, YouTubers, how many of you try to do videos with your children? I can't tell you how long this process has been taking me. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to get through this. Your turn. All right, Tamman's turn. Climbing, jumping, and running. That's another thing that I like. In the house. I In the house. He likes to climb in the house. He likes to climb on the furniture. He likes to climb on the stairs. He likes to climb on the railings. He likes to run through the house. I like to slide on the railings. He likes to slide on the railings. Because it's faster travel. <laughs> <laughs> it's faster travel by two seconds. It's like fast. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And we have this open space where the we have a hallway and then the living room goes into the dining room into the kitchen so it's almost a circle he runs the circle non-stop like a marathon runner <laughs> he has done this since he was really little we've always had kind of an open concept with a dining room and a living room and one of the things that he used to do is he used to run from one side of the room and then flip himself into the couch, 
Hopefully I have a video to share of that. <laughs> I don't want to do that because we don't have our couch anymore. Yeah, we do. This is the couch that you used to do it on when you were little. I love to read. Fuss, open a book. Make sure to subscribe to open a book. Make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you can see all my fun videos on open a book. I am doing all of the Jane Austen books right now. Well, all the ones that I'm currently reading. But I do love to read. I've always loved to read. My grandfather used to take me as a little girl to the library all the time. And that really developed a love for reading. And I would just gobble up reading because I didn't have a lot of friends growing up. So I really just loved to read and engross myself in the stories and books. And I still love to read. However, after having Tavin, Tavin was, um, I don't want to say it was a difficult baby, but he had some health issues and a lot of things that were going on. And so he cried a lot for the first four years of his life. And I mean that quite literally the first four years, almost nonstop. And so I didn't have a lot of time to read and he took up a lot of our time and our energy and our space and everything else that we used to like doing. We could no longer do. We couldn't go out to the park. We couldn't do anything. It was just terrible, but I can't read. I couldn't read anymore. So a couple years ago, as he got older and started becoming a little bit more independent in his play, going outside by himself or playing with the kids in the neighborhood, I started picking up a book. And now that he's independent in his schoolwork, sometimes I take advantage of that time as well. And I'm trying to encourage him to read more as well. And he's been doing a little bit better in that. Even though he says he doesn't like doing it, he's been doing actually really good in it. All right, Tavin, your turn. I love humming. Non-stop. Non-stop. It never ends. It just keeps going and going and going and going. And going. And going. And going. And Christmas tunes that never end. I really love being outside at night and having a fire. We really enjoy having a fire at night and there's nothing really else going on. It's just quiet and we love to listen to the crackling of the wood and watching the fire. And a lot of times we do stargazing. We'll get our little stargazer app out and we'll look at the stars and follow all the constellations and we like to follow the moon a lot. So we love having a fire. We love being outside at night. And I like making noise. what you do when you play with your action figures. I like to... Pow, pow, pow. He crashes them together constantly. Well, it's like... Well, when boys play, they fight sometimes. I like to... Constantly! Play. It's I like love, constant! I love to fight with my toys. <laughs> you like Is to that fight. right, boys? That are kids, right? Like, Good. I thought so. I thought so. I thought so. I thought so. It's pew, 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 clank, 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 bang, bang, bang. Wow. On top, on top of the humming, on top of the videos that he's watching, on top of the games that he's playing. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, then people wonder why I have to take these. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I am stressed. <laughs> now, this is not a commercial. I'm not being sponsored by Ollie. However, I should for how much I invest in these things. Because I do take them for nighttime. I do take their vitamins and I take this and I have to tell you it has worked miracles and I'm actually going to be doing a special on this for my highly sensitive peeps out there because I have to tell you this has been amazing for me. It has really helped me a lot. A lot. Mm -hmm. Yo turn. Yo turn. During the month of May, we spend a lot of time outside because the weather starts actually getting really nice here. I love to hang outside. I love to put a blanket out in the backyard and just listen to the moody blues and Pink Floyd and Led Zeppelin while I'm just hanging outside. The other thing I really like doing outside is bird watching. I really enjoy bird watching and I am really excited for all the birds that are coming. We have a lot of birds that have been coming these past couple weeks. We've seen a variety of birds, just tons of birds out in the back. Tons of tons of birds outside. <laughs> okay, so th that being, being outside. I love going to the store. Okay, another reason why I hate going to the store. <laughs> I love asking for things, toys, Cards, video games, well, they don't have video games in stores. Well, they do have it at GameStop. That's an awesome store. Even though we don't go there anymore. Really There's angry. a reason for that. Well, I want to get Rayman Legends and that Angry Birds game. Um, I like going to the store because I love to get toys. He likes to go to the store and, and ask chocolate. for everything that he can possibly. Me and my daddy. Everything love, that he sees, he's asking for. Me and my for. daddy love chocolate. When we go to the store, all he does is ask nonstop. Can I get this? 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 And he's touching everything. Do, do, do. He has to touch things. He's a toucher. Like he he likes to touch your clothes. He he's he's a. I have a blanket. He's a sensor. He likes to feel things. So seriously, he has to touch everything. So you're like constantly put that down, put that back. Stop, stop asking me for that. I no, you're not getting that. No, 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 no. You spend the whole time in the store going no, 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 no. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Another thing that I really love doing is I love hanging out at the lake. We are very close to Lake Michigan, which I love. I really, I have lived in many different places and the lake always draws me back because there's just something about it that is so alluring and draws you in. So we spend a lot of time at the lake and we love to collect rocks and throw them in, like he likes to throw rocks into the lake, so I guess that would be another thing you like doing, so that's number 11. He loves to throw rocks into the lake. We love to take walks down by the lake, we love to play in the sand, and we love to, we like to tease ourselves to see how long we can stand in the freezing cold Lake Michigan water, right? Because it's really cold. Okay, now he's being like goofy. Freezing. It is freezing. So we tempt ourselves. So we play with that. And Tavin likes to go in the water to see how fast his feet can get buried in the sand or the rocks. And how far I can go. And how far we can go. We can walk out pretty far. Yeah. The lake actually stays pretty shallow for a really long period of time. And then it drops. But then it gets shallow again, which is really interesting. So we like to hang out at the lake. We love doing that. And sometimes we like to have picnics. Or we just take a blanket and hang out and... Do that. Yeah. This has been a long process. I think he's starting to crash. I think he's going to take a nap. <laughs> Tevin likes to bounce. 
He has been doing that since he was probably one and a half. He would bounce in his crib and that's how he would move his crib everywhere. We literally had to take everything out of his bedroom when he was little because he would bounce that crib everywhere <laughs> and take things out of the drawers and his baby wipes would be everywhere. His toys would be, he'd throw the toys out the window. And so even now, as he is approaching nine years old, the way that he goes to sleep is by bouncing what you just saw. And he does this like Indian chant almost. It's like, he actually has to make that noise while he bounces. And he's been doing that since he was little and that's how he goes to sleep and sometimes he gets afraid to go to other people's houses to sleep over because he's like what if I have to bounce I'm like just bounce it's okay nobody cares it's not a big deal so he bounces to go to sleep but he bounces when he has to go to the bathroom and he won't go but I don't bounce in the bathroom I didn't say you bounce in the bathroom I said I bounce. <laughs> you bounce when you have to go to the bathroom when he has to bounce. I don't! I don't! No, I don't! No, I don't. That's how I always know he has to poop! <laughs> no! No! Sometimes that's not true. It's true. <laughs> okay, stop. Oh, it's, All right. it's not true! It's not true! It's not! Totally true. It's not! Totally true. It's not! Okay. It's not, it's not, it's not true. It's not true. It's not. It's not. Okay. I like meeting new people. Now, 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 you might think that's kind of strange considering I don't like people. Um, and I do like people. I just don't like mean people. And I do like meeting new people. Mm. I do like meeting new people. I just don't like meeting mean people. And the thing about meeting new people for me is that when I do, it's like you're instantly my new best friend. Well, Anne is always going to be my best friend, Karen and Deborah too, but I really just get a kick out of meeting new people and getting to know the real them. I really like getting to know people. That's actually going to go right into my last thing that I like doing. I really like meeting new people because I really enjoy in-depth conversations, real in-depth conversations. One of the things that I should have said that I don't like doing in my last video is texting. I hate texting. I don't like texting because I think it's very impersonal and I think that it gets lost, you know, the meaning gets lost in translation and sometimes we take things the wrong way. My brother-in-law and I, when we would text, we would always say that we couldn't text each other because we would take each other the wrong way. So. I like face-to-face -face conversations. I miss that interaction that the society has lost through texting and, you know, and, and even in texting, you lose real words. Like, you know, you just don't even use real words or real language anymore and people communicate with emojis. And I'm not gonna lie, I do like my gifts. No lie about that. Anne knows that I am addicted to gifts on Messenger. I, I think gifts can speak a thousand words. But as I said, I like meeting new people and I like getting to know people, the real them. Like I don't want any of this pretentious, you're putting on an act for me. Just tell me who you really are and I swear I will respect you and admire you and probably fall in love with you instantly. Well, Tavin's down to his last one. I love talking and asking questions. Yeah, Daddy does. Hey, can I have this? Can I have that? Can I have this? Can I have that? Can I have this? Can I have that? Can I play this? Can I play that? Can Can I play this game? Can I get this? Can I get Can I have back? a snack? Can I eat this? Right after dinner. Can I have a snack? So this is how our conversations go. This is how our conversations go. Can I have a snack? No. Can I have a cheese stick? No. Can I have a cracker? No. Can I have candy? Yeah. Can I have candy? Yes. No. Yes. No. 
I mean, it's like he asks the same question just differently seven different times. Like, it's not going to change my answer. The answer is no. No. It's like I, I you know, you want to be a good mom and you want to make sure that they're not doing things, you know, like I watched this video on this chick who uh, didn't say no for an entire day to her son. It, or I think it was a week. She said yes to everything he asked for that week. And I thought that was the stupidest thing any mother could possibly do. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. No. Then if he doesn't ask questions, then he does this thing. I really wish I could have a candy bar. I don't ask for a candy bar. I asked for candy. I really wish that I could have candy. Boy, that candy sure looks good. Oh, I'm not kidding. He does this crazy stuff like that. Now he does this thing where if he can't have something, he stares at it and goes... <laughs> and he'll start freaking out. Mm -hmm. Just He does it on purpose, but I, I don't give in to that. That has been our top 10 things that we like. So make sure to subscribe, share, and comment. Make sure to watch all of our videos. I am so grateful that you came to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to continue watching and don't forget to subscribe.